Cheryl Crowley. Uh, Fractured Art Mosaics is my business and I'm a mosaicist and I'm going to be working with the grade 12s and the AP kids to create a mosaic uh, based on a painting by Yvonne Galland, who's an Acadian painter from Moncton. I just want to demonstrate the way you cut tile. Um, these nippers are called side biters and we're going to use these to cut the really thick uh, ceramic tile. So this is a piece of ceramic tile. When you want to cut, if you wanted to cut straight across, you put the nippers just on the very, very edge. Wearing safety glasses, you hold this side really firmly and you're going to press down, you're going to hold right at the back of your nippers because you get more strength and it will hopefully cut straight across for you and then if you wanted this to be rounded then you could use either edge of these and you just these are called tile nippers for a reason you nip off little bits and then you can end up with a mess on the floor and a bit of a curved edge We just put a scratch coat of mortar down so we rubbed it into the board to make sure there's good contact. And then we've just put a second layer of mortar on with a groove tool and now we're ready to flip the mosaic or flip this onto the back of the mosaic and the low mosaic tiles have been built up with a bit of mortar over here. So now we flip it all back to, and hopefully it'll all go together right. So we flip the mosaic over here. This is the back of the mosaic. So now we're going to lay this on top of the back of the mosaic. Like that. Alright, can some people, because I don't want to lay this down yet, I actually want to lift it up so it's in the air above. So if we lift up the bottom, that's it. That's it. Now, make sure there's one person at every corner. Your job is to match the corners. We're going to go down really slowly. Watch over top. You can see if the edges are going to match up. Keep going down slowly, slowly until it touches. Okay? How are we doing? Okay, you can touch it right down now. Okay? The boards may not be exactly the same, but they're pretty darn close to the same. Okay, so now just give it a good push down. The stuff breaking. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Earlier, um, which is, I'm going to put one clamp in the middle there. We're going to slide this over so it's all on one table. No, it's up. No, just don't move that table back. Don't be. Excellent. And that's the back, so we can hang it after. That has to be installed first. Then we're going to slide the whole thing down that way, and we're going to let it lie down again. Make sense? So tip it up this way first. That's it. And at the same time, you can slide the base back. That's it. Good. And let's bring it. Keep going. Bring it down. Excellent. And this now. We are going to very slowly just get down like this because we want to make sure this is going to come off. We're going to just all lift down. We are going to very slowly just get down like this because we want to make sure this is going to come off. We're going to just all lift up together. Okay, lift. Okay. Woo! That actually works. Awesome. No. <laughs>
our albino lobster based on Yvonne Gallant's painting. Now you'll see some places that we ended up not getting quite as even a coat of mortar as we were trying for and the mortar has come up in between the tiles. That happens sometimes. It's not, it's not a big deal. It still has the MAC tack on it? Yeah. Until it dries or do we take that gently no, off? I'm going to leave that on there because the little pieces sometimes get pulled out if we try to take the mask off. So we're gonna let it sit there for the weekend, just like this. And on Monday, uh, we should be able to take it off. We're peeling the mask tack off very slowly. The mortar has dried over the weekend. We have some tiles that are still popping up, so we just wanna be really, just sit them on top for now. Wanna be really careful we don't lift any more than Necessary. That's okay, we can fix those. Just sit them over. <laughs> so we mixed up some grout. We've let it slake for 10 minutes. It's, we decided, or I decided to use black grout. It's really messy. It's about the thickness of um, sour cream, if you imagine sour cream with sand in it. So we're going to stick it in between the holes. This is like playing with mud pies. It really is goopy. Blip. That's the only sound effect that really makes sense with this. Blip. As soon as you get it, you can start rubbing it in. Gently push it oh, up between warm. the spaces. <laughs> so warm. <laughs> around and come off.